Here are the top 10 biggest problems with LEGO Minecraft. Let's go. So up at spot number 10, we have small inaccuracies. And these are things like the grass block not being an exact cube, or just a few things that just aren't very accurate to the game. For example, that round cake that we had. And there's quite a few of these in LEGO Minecraft, and I think a lot of them needs to be fixed. Even the minifigures have round arms and that. But some of these are quite an easy fix, and LEGO could always do something like that. Spot number 9 goes to... Mob houses. I've talked about these several times already. Mob houses are not very good for LEGO Minecraft. They're nothing like a vanilla Minecraft set. It's like they've run out of ideas for LEGO Minecraft when there's so much they could do. For example, a pillager outpost. And then they think, oh, we can just make another animal into a house. I just think sometimes they're a bit of an eyesore in a LEGO Minecraft world. Spot number eight goes to the amount of missing sets we have. I have a full video on this and I'll link it just up there. But these sets are really good and really need to be added. And it seems like LEGO's just ignoring them. Like, we don't actually have that many desert sets, or we don't have many larger scale sets, for example, like a pillager outpost. And then LEGO will go off and say, oh, we made a pillager outpost quite a while ago. But then, that pillager outpost wasn't really the big tower. How can you have that pillager outpost without a tower? And spot number seven goes to the lack of larger scale sets. Lego Minecraft is pretty much made up of loads and loads of small sets, which is a bit annoying as it can make it a less popular theme as people think it's just for children. Because when it comes to Lego Minecraft, there's only like four sets that go over a thousand pieces, and nowadays that's not even that much. Therefore, making less people think of Lego Minecraft as a good theme to buy. And spot number six goes to... To be honest, the lack of trees in Lego sets. While we get the occasional flower and the occasional tree, we need more trees in these Lego sets because when trying to make a Lego Minecraft world, it's really difficult to find the amount of trees you need. And then you end up having to go and make them yourself. And that can be quite difficult as you might not have those green pieces. And then spot number five goes to the Wandering Trader. So the Wandering Trader was actually an idea given to me by someone who commented on all my videos. Here it is. And the problem was, is that his face, I think they just didn't work hard enough on it. The skin is golden and doesn't look much like the actual Wandering Trader in the game at all. And I really think Lego could have done something amazing with the Wandering Trader and made a really, really good minifigure. And spot number four goes to the amount of Alex and Steve's you get. Every Lego Minecraft collector will know Alex and Steve are like the main minifigures and if you collect sets and make a world like I have you're gonna have a lot of them. The amount of Steve's I have I just there's too many to count and Alex's just the same. In the end it makes your collection feel too generic and you'll just have a load of Steve's and Alex's walking around your world and Lego has tried to fix this a bit which is a good thing by adding more sets with skins in. Spot number three goes to the unfixed hoglin now this one was also talked about in my worst lego minecraft minifigures video and the hoglin is just a really bad minifigure it has a huge gray line going right through its face last time i checked in the game that wasn't happening but then when the ruined nether portal came out they had a baby hoglin and it wasn't any better maybe even worse and to this day this still hasn't been fixed i really hope lego can do something about this Spot number two goes to the way villagers are designed. This spot is more from an animator's view, but for villagers, they really can't walk very well. Because their legs don't move, you have to do some sort of hopping motion to make them move. And in the game, they actually just walk like normal characters. This can make animation seem a bit inaccurate to the game, and also is quite annoying to animate when you have walking people as well. Finally, spot number one goes to ores. Now, we've had LEGO Minecraft ores since the beginning, but they still have a few problems. The way they're designed isn't the most accurate to the game, and I really think they could have made some sort of printed piece. It would have been really epic to have like an exclusive printed piece for ores for only in LEGO Minecraft. 
And that was the top 10 biggest problems with Lego Minecraft. Don't take these too seriously. It's all just a bit of fun. Hope you enjoyed. See you all next time.